And this is my lightning talk. I'm from here, more specifically here. And uh, this is broken into two bolts. We all use Perl 5 for different reasons, but I'm not here to talk about Perl. It's cool, but I honestly don't care. I do care about Mojalicious, but why? Well, Perl was released a long time ago. It was the 80s. It's been a while for Ruby, too, 19 years, but nobody cared about Ruby back then, until Rails. People cared a little bit about JavaScript, but Node.js took it to another level. So what about Perl? The 80s were a different time. They have, your rep they have a reputation. Perl has a reputation. I think Mojalicious can do the same for Perl that Rails did for Ruby. The proof is today. There was nearly zero marketing for MojoConf and 70 people registered from 19 countries. We have commercial training now. The class was yesterday. It was sold out. So don't talk, talk to people about Perl. Talk to them about Mojalicious. Show them the Mojalicious tutorials first. They will be skeptical. They might even change their mind. But they will like Mojalicious. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. OK. Bolt 2. Mojalicious promotes a culture shift in Perl. One of them is release early and release often. WebSockets had an implementation of for every draft of the spec. JSON pointers were in Mojalicious before most people even knew what they were, and now we have a transparent message queue. But more so, there's a focus on beauty. You can be a part of that. If you create something, you're putting yourself out there. If you create multiple things, you begin to stand out. Other people get inspired, and they'll start to stand out too. And people will notice. You won't notice them, because they'll be in the background. But they're watching. And the longer you keep doing things, the more people watch. And then you can start drawing attention to what you do. And that's how you grow, professionally, as a community, and personally. And that's nice in theory, but how do you do that? Adopt the adage, it's not working until it's pretty. And it's not hard. You don't have to be a designer. Here's an app I made. I could have just presented this on the website. But I found this Photoshop template on Google. I just drag and drop street screenshots into Photoshop. And that's pretty cool, because just the existence of this promo makes the whole app seem more valuable. And it looks much cooler on a regular screen. Uh, CSS frameworks, use them. This is a simple one. And there's ready-made templates on the web. This one is beautiful. And it costs $15. That's nothing. There are lots of template sites. There are always more. And different search engines will help you find more. You don't have to be complicated. You can be simple. Simple will stand out. And remember to draw attention to what you do. A tweet, just a tweet will do. Nordaker is a good example however you pronounce that in Norwegian speak. Um, it's simple. It's nice looking. The Convos team has done a pretty good job, too. They have a solid product, and they just use the GitHub default pages. It's simple, and it does the job. It runs Perl and Mojalicious, and that will show over time. The point is to make people happy, and being beautiful makes people happy. It's subconscious, but everyone appreciates it. So make it pretty, and you will stand out which means Mojalicious will stand out, and then Perl will as well. And everyone will be happy, and that is contagious. One more thing. Sebastian really likes this hat. So someone should really make that happen. <laughs>